What's up guys, Chris Reed Beats here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can package and distribute your own sample loop kits. And the website that I'm gonna show you that we're gonna to use today is completely free. So you can get your loop kit uploaded to this website and start selling it completely free starting today. Let's get started. All right guys, now I'm in front of my computer, so I'm gonna show you guys the process to packaging your sample loop kits. In the previous video, we used Reason to bounce our mixer channels, and that put all of the stem files inside of a folder. Now the next step is to compress that folder, and if you're on a PC, you simply would right click the folder and press send to compress zip folder. If you're on a Mac, you right click and press compress, you need to have the folder compressed and zipped in order to be able to upload it to this website. Now we need to work on creating an album art for your sample loop pack. The first step in this process is to find some kind of image, create an image using Photoshop, or you can use your camera and take a picture, or if you need a quick, easy, and free image, then you can use Canva, or you can use a website called Unsplash. When you go to Unsplash, you can search for different types of images, and when you find an image that you like, you simply can press download now, and that image will be downloaded to your computer. These images are completely free, but you do have the option to link the source in which you found the image so that that person can receive some credit for their work. Now that we have an image that we can work with, we're gonna head over to canva.com. I like using Canva because it's free. There are plenty other free softwares that you can use, and if you are a graphic designer or if you know a graphic designer, then you can always use Adobe Photoshop instead of using one of these free platforms. It's totally up to you which one you use, but for the sake of an easy and free process, we're gonna use Canva. Once you're on Canva, you can log in to a previous account that you've already set up, or you can sign up for a free account. Click on create a design and choose album cover. You can also use a custom dimension or you can choose one of the other templates it's up to you. You can start your design from a blank canvas or you can use one of Canva's templates and already have the text and an image that you can use in order to further your design. We need to upload our photo that we downloaded from Unsplash, so we'll go to Upload Media. And once that picture has been uploaded, we're going to drag that picture over and replace the picture that's inside of our template cover. Now we just need to change the album cover name and once we have changed that title, we're done with this process. We can go up to the top and click download and choose a PNG file, download that file and now you have that file on your computer and you can have that ready for use for our next step. The free website that we're gonna use in order to host our sample loop pack is called rockstar.io. I'll leave a link in the description for this website as well as all of the other websites that we use in this tutorial. Once you go to rockstar.io, simply sign up for a free account. And once you are logged into your free account, we're going to find the button that says upload so we can upload our very first loop pack. Make sure to fill out all of the information that is required for your loop pack and then give a good description of what your loop pack contains. Down below you can also add tags, accept the, and agree to the terms and conditions and click upload files. Make sure to fill out all of the information to describe your sample loop pack correctly because this will come in handy when people are searching for specific kinds of sample loop packs. They'll be able to find your sample loop pack a lot easier if you fill out all of the information. So we're gonna make sure to check off all of the moods that apply. We're going to check off the different options. We're going to fill in how many files are included. We're going to set a range for our tempo and we're gonna make sure that all of the information is filled out. The next thing that we're gonna do is upload our image cover. The image cover we downloaded earlier from Canva will be in your files. Go ahead and locate that file and simply click 
upload image cover so that we have that image cover ready to go. Once we're ready to upload our loop pack, simply click upload files and we're gonna locate the compressed zip folder that we compressed earlier in the video. We're gonna choose that folder and upload it to the website. In the previous video, I showed you how you could create a demo track for your sample loop pack. So we're gonna go ahead and select that at this time so that when people go to listen to your sample loop pack, they can hear a demo of what they are getting in your sample loop pack. Once you've uploaded all of the files necessary for your sample loop pack, Rockstar IO is gonna give you the option to either save for later or to submit for review. And Rockstar will review your sample pack to make sure that you have included all the things you said are included in the sample loop pack. Next, we need to set a price for this sample loop pack. You can choose to let it be free or you can set a price and if you pay for a pro subscription, you get the option to allow the person to pay what they want to pay. And for with that option, they can of course pay more or they can choose to pay less. But a lot of these options come only if you have the pro subscription. But for us, we wanna use the free subscription. So we're gonna to stick to the free subscription. The last step is we need to choose what kind of license we wanna allow the person to be able to purchase with this sample loop pack. Right here on Rockstar, they have a description of what the different licenses are, so you can choose which one of the licenses you wanna use for your sample loop pack. Rockstar gives you the option to either submit for review or to save for later. If you submit for review, then that is going to send the information to Rockstar where they can then verify everything that you said is in the sample loop pack is there, and then they will either approve or deny your sample loop pack. This is what the sample loop pack page will look like as soon as you have submitted for review and your sample has been approved. Then you will have a page like this created and generated where people can purchase your sample loop pack and they will also be able to see other loop packs that you have created and uploaded to the website. You can of course use this URL. You can copy this URL and paste that URL anywhere that you can paste it on the internet and people will be taken directly to this sample loop pack to be able to purchase it. Rockstar.io is a great platform in order for you to be able to sell your sample loop packs completely free. There are other websites that you can use, including airbit.com and beatstars.com, but in order to sell loop packs there, you need to have a subscription. Watch this next video so you can learn how to market and generate traffic for your loop packs and your beats.